Halloween just wrapped up and Thanksgiving is around the corner. If I wasn't in Southern California, I would be seeing leaves changing colors and the beauty of fall taking over the streets. But no, I'm in Southern California, so. Welcome to Blognosis! We're ambiguous! Question on legality! We have fun with this! Blognosis! Welcome to Blognosis! I don't even! Anyway, I thought it was a good time to make an episode about Thanksgiving, and namely Thanksgiving shopping, because I had the Halloween shopping episode. We might as well match that with Thanksgiving too, right? But for those of you who are huge fans of the Thanksgiving holiday, come on, join me. Let's go. Let's go see what's in the stores. No, I mean, oh, you can't. You have to stay there. Okay, you stay there. I will bring the camera and, and I'll show you what's out there, okay? Here, let me grab you. Let's start with the Dollar Tree. The selection here is, it's okay. It's not quite as extensive as the Halloween or the upcoming Christmas displays. Which makes me a little bit sad because if you refresh your mind on the history Thanksgiving and what it means to everyone in this country. It really should be a bigger holiday than it is. You should see stands on the side of the road with Thanksgiving decorations the same way that you see firework stands for the 4th of July. But there's enough here at the Dollar Tree to really make your Thanksgiving table special and you won't break the bank shopping here. After all, everything is just a dollar. Or these cards are two for a dollar. Let's take a look inside the 99 cent store. They seem to have much more to choose from. They have a whole aisle dedicated to Thanksgiving. Scarecrows seem to be a popular theme this year, I guess. I really like these name tags with the little acorns on them. And they also have a selection of greedy cards. Let's wrap up this episode with a peek inside of Target. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed in Target this year. There were only two really small shelves devoted to, well, I wouldn't even call it Thanksgiving, it was more of Ambiguous, unoffensive fall decor. The selection on these two small shelves really didn't contain anything that spoke on the true meaning of Thanksgiving. A lot of it was very, I don't know, I would say politically correct, neutral. Given the significance of this holiday, it was disappointing to see two very small shelves with neutral decor. Even their selection of greeting cards was about a quarter of the size of everybody else. <laughs> 